Hello lovely people. After the trio of our last lesson it's time to get down to some proper development of your technique now and we're practicing exercise 127 on page 26 in this lesson. So let's go ahead and let's get started and see what's going on there. Now in this lesson we're introducing eighth notes. In England these notes are called quavers. And in music, these quavers or eighth notes, quite often you see them in groups of two together, in which case they look like this. And this is also the way they have been written in your book. If you take a look at the grid above exercise 127. Now, two of these equal the same amount of time as one quarter note or one crotchet that we already know. Occasionally, we come across these eighth notes or quavers as singles and then they look like this, so they are a little note head with a flag and that is a single one of these. Uh, don't worry too much about this, this is more with a view to the future that I tell you this, but in your book we'll come across them as groups of two. Now if you have four counts in a bar, if you play in four four time, you will have four crotchet notes, four quarter notes in one bar in one measure and then if we have that as quavers or as eighth notes you get this one and two and three and four and. In the exercise that we're playing today we haven't got four four time we have two four time so we only have two of these and we'll count them one and two and. Let me play you the exercise now and show you how to count the notes. So if we take a look at the first bar of exercise 127, we can see four of the same notes and I'm counting them one and two and before I then play the next measure. So I'm playing these notes in the middle of the bow and I'm using fairly short sections of my bow. So I'm starting in the middle and I'm going to about here. And you get very short repeated notes like this. And this is how it goes one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and and it would be very helpful if you got used to saying that in your head while you play so let's give this a go and let's try that shall we i'll count us in one measure one and two and <laughs> So take a look at where you are on the bow and you want to still use the same amount of bow. Be careful that you're not drifting towards the point of the bow, but you stay from the middle up to about here. Okay, and you may have noticed that while I was playing, I was emphasizing every time I say one. One and two and one and two and one and two. So that you structure your music really nicely per bar, per measure. Let's play this again now and once we've reached the end of our tune we're going to go down the scale again and play the notes in reverse order. Start at the beginning, let's place our bow in the middle, one and two and... <laughs> Again, then go backwards. Well done, very, very nice. Now, what do I need to watch out for when I play this exercise? I need to push my bow arm straight in front, so be careful that you're not reaching here with your bow arm. Instead, you want to push forward like that so that your bow strokes don't go like this, but they go like this. If you feel very slippery here, it means that you're too.
too far to the side, you're bowing here rather than stretching your bow arm in front. Now this will really develop your violin technique when you can do that and I want you to take your time really checking the placement of your bow on the string. So are you really starting in the middle of the bow and are you coming back to the middle of the bow? And I'd also like you to check that your bow is perfectly straight and that your notes are in tune. So there are three things that you want to work on during this exercise. Good luck with your practice and if this has been useful for you, why not consider becoming a member of Henriette's Violin Club? There is a special video that explains exactly what it involves becoming a member of Henriette's Violin Club. You get all sorts of special perks, the best of which, in my view, is that during our live sessions you get to ask the questions. So while it's open for everyone to watch, members can ask questions in the live sessions. But there are more perks. I'll put the link in the description down below this video so you can check it out. And I very much look forward to hearing from you. Best of luck with your practice and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Goodbye.